This video is all about the quick fix telescoping repair coupling. It's great for fixing a damaged pipe. This is Alfred Castillo, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. When you're making a repair on a pipe in the ground, both sides are fixed in place. Unless your pipe is really flexible, it makes it nearly impossible to repair with a standard slip coupler. This repair is for a slightly larger section of pipe. This little treasure retracts so you can fit it into the gap you've cut and then extend it to bridge the gap. If the broken portion of pipe is tiny, you may want to check out our other PVC repair fittings at sprinklerwarehouse.com. For this repair, you're going to need a pipe cutter or hacksaw, quick fix telescoping repair coupling, a slip coupling, PVC primer, and cement. You could go at this a number of different ways. This is the way I found works best for me. I'm going to begin by attaching the slip coupling to the expanding tube portion of the telescoping repair coupling. I apply primer and cement to the inside of my slip coupling, just on one side, and on the outside of the telescoping tube thingy. Pop on the slip coupling. Make sure it goes on straight, otherwise you might find yourself in deep doo-doo when you try to attach it to your pipe. While that dries, let's figure out how much broken pipe we can cut out. Because of this telescoping feature, you don't have to have the fixture fully extended to have a leak-proof seal. Any amount of extension on this fitting is equally as leak-proof. So my gap shouldn't be longer than 10 inches, but I'll need it to be at least 7 inches. So anywhere between 7 inches and 10 inches is good. I measured in inches, but in Canadian that's... Oh. No, that's not right. You'll just have to figure out yourself, eh? And now we cut. I'm going to use a ratcheting pipe cutter to make my life easier. You could use a hacksaw, but you'll have to dig a bigger hole and sandpaper off those burrs left by the saw, and I'm way too lazy for that. If you haven't already, clean and dry the edges of your pipe before applying the primer. Paint on PVC primer, then cement to the one side of the cut pipe and inside of your slip coupling. Slide the fixture in place, and I'm going to test fit the other side to keep everything perfectly in line. Not too tight. You don't want to fight a few minutes from now when we slip it back off. Wait a couple of minutes for the cement to set. Uh, yes, I'm working, I'm working. Now I'm going to slip the side off so we can primer and cement it. Once again, I'm applying primer first and then cement to the outside of the pipe and inside of the coupling portion of the telescoping repair coupling. Slide this end back in place. Give it just a quarter turn to seal everything. And that's it. Easy peasy. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to keep your irrigation systems up and running so that your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, just call one of my boys at the customer service department at 281-500-9800. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Feel free to leave a comment and let us know what other subjects you are interested in learning about. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.